Next, Hillary Clinton says hell no to Donald Trump. Trump speaking live to supporters at this hour. Will he fire back? That's live out front. Plus, Ted Cruz rising in the polls, sounding more Trump-like. Will immigration prove to be his Achilles heel? And chaos on the strip, a young mother mowing dozens down with her car or toddler in the back seat. Why did she do it? Let's go out front. Good evening, I'm Erin Burnett. Out front tonight, hell no. Hillary Clinton adamant she will not tell Donald Trump she's sorry. The Republican frontrunner demanding an apology, calling Clinton a liar. The battle beginning Saturday when Clinton claimed during the Democratic debate. It never uh, would have happened, of course, taking credit for uh, how, how well he ran the Miss Universe pageant. Uh, but Erin, I can tell you this fight back to Hillary Clinton is probably going to keep on going. And as we said before, it's good politics for both of them. Uh, yes. We'll see how long it lasts. All right. Thank you very much, Jeff Zeleny. Out front now, Katrina Pearson, Donald Trump's campaign. Right. I don't want to go down the slip Slippery Benghazi slope, but but David, let me just ask ask you the point here on the video. The irony, of course, uh, is that Bill Clinton has been used in ISIS recruiting videos, and Donald Trump surely may be in the future, but at least at this point, he has not. Sure. Don't you think there's a video coming now? <laughs> in a recruiting video. Well, he is in a recruiting video. Right. In the rooftops of New Jersey, cheering after nine. Katrina, what about what about the point David is making that if he wants to demand an apology, why not offer? Uh, you know, David, and this is the question: uh, if if Donald Trump ends up being the nominee, at least at this point. If the, if, if the polls are right, he is the nominee. Things could change, but that's what the polls say at this point. And then it's Clinton versus Trump. Uh, a lot of people say she'll have the upper hand. She's had foreign policy experience. She's a policy wonk. She will trounce, uh, trounce him in debates. Well, you say not so well, fast. Well, not so fast. But what... Cruz, rising in the polls, showing off his sense of humor in a new ad. Tonight, Ted Cruz facing questions about his views on immigration. A new memo has surfaced showing that he has taken a softer tone on the hot button issue. And Donald Trump uh, capitalizing off of that. It's the epic mistake that his folks across the globe, including Donald Trump talking, comedian. I say no for one simple reason. Huh. There's no amount of money that would make that kind of embarrassment worth it for Steve Harvey. That's right. That, I think you're right about that. Out front now, Fraser Seitel, a crisis communicate. And when you have a mistake that horrific, you make them both a winner. No, it, no? A terrible idea. Well, some people, though, are saying this was a publicity stunt to try to get attention for the pageant, right, which had lost a lot of uh, carriage, uh, carriage on, on networks when Donald Trump sold it. What do you say? No, uh, I mean, I, I agree with Brian. I mean, they would have. Had uh, so, so obviously they're blaming the telecomter, but, but now he's saying he misread the card. Yeah. And he's taking full responsibility for it. What, what do you think happened? Well, uh, tell it will increase the audience. That's a, that's a pretty interesting idea. It sounds like actually probably right. All right, Fraser, thank you. Thank you. And out front next, a night of bloodshed, chaos, men, women, children mowed down by a car in Las Vegas. Tonight, investigators refusing to rule out terror after a woman drove straight into a crowd of people on the Las Vegas Strip, killing one, injuring 37 others. Stephanie, thank you very much. And, and pretty shocking that there's yet to be uh, any announcement as to motive at all. Uh, we do know that she will be appearing uh, tomorrow morning uh, at the courthouse. We will see her then and see if they have more information as to the motive at that time. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to set your DVR. You could record the program and watch us at any time. I'll see you back here tomorrow night. AC360 tonight with John Berman in for Anderson Cooper starts right now.